Hello YouTube family, Greg D here with TGN, we're back for another DCU old video, and you wonder, might be wondering why I have this on the screen right now, as uh, apparently I'm trying to download the latest update for the game. I uh, wanted to bring this to your attention, this is something that I found uh, on one of the Facebook pages for um, DCUO. And obviously the title of the video is probably going to get it away, but for all of you guys out there who have been uh, clamoring and waiting and wanting a new power, uh, don't expect to see that anytime soon. Um, if you're not someone who pays attention to the forums really or any of the like DCUO Facebook pages or anything like that, um, I found something in one that someone posted in one of the uh, Facebook groups, and um, they're not, they're, DCUO is not posting, or I should say, not coming out with a new power any time soon. It's not really a top priority uh, to them. So like I said, I hate to disappoint some of you guys who have been looking for um, a new power, but here's what Meps himself had to say. And I will read this verbatim. Uh, what he posted in the forums. Uh, someone on the forums uh, um, asked why there are no plans uh, to make a new power or release a new power or anything like that. Um, so MEP says, and I quote, it just doesn't seem like the best way to spend our time versus other features. Making a power set is a lot of time slash work. We probably can't get away with making just one since we have three rolls. Once live, it adds to the ongoing maintenance work, keeping things balanced or expanding a later system systemic change. And with each new power set, less and less people actually play, play it uh, for the most part. Players have picked the power they like most already and don't switch. So essentially what he's saying there is that um, adding on a new power at this point just adds on obviously to the uh, tremendous amount of work that they have to already do to uh, fix bugs, to maintain the game the way that it's going, to work on the servers, like all of that crap. You know, the, the, the technical side of things to keep the game running and just adding on a new power set and coming up with ideas is a lot of work and it just adds on to the tremendous amount of work that they're already doing. And then I don't think that they really want to take that on as a top priority at this point. Um, they would much rather focus on um, continuing to add, you know, fresh content and fixing bugs and uh, figuring out ways to make the game better without, you know, adding on all that extra work if they don't have to. Uh, he goes on to say, and I quote, I'm not saying we wouldn't like to, because new powers are generally really exciting. It's just a lot of development time spent on something that probably won't have that much impact on most players compared to other systems. So, basically the way that they are kind of viewing this whole thing is that, um, you know, they could put the money, the time, the effort into making a new power set, but... Uh, their belief is that most players at this point kind of have like a favorite power and they stick to it and they don't switch around. And, and I guess I fall into that category. You know, um, my my two favorite powers within the game are uh, Earth and Sorcery. And the majority of my videos are Earth and Sorcery. Now, granted, you know, I've, we've been playing, you know, Nature DPS with the, the walkthrough character, and I have all those alternate characters that are, you know, a, a, a array of different powers, but when it comes down to it, you know, most of you guys would probably agree the fact that most of my videos are Earth and Sorcery because those are my two favorite powers. I love the pet powers, though. Um, and like I said, their belief is that more often than not, players are like me. Like, you, you pick one or two powers that you like, and you're probably going to stick with them throughout. Now, that's not to say that most that people wouldn't play new powers, um, you know, or switch to be, you know, the flavor of the month once a uh, new power came out, um, which, you know, is, is probably true for everyone. Now, obviously, when something new comes out, people are going to want to try, people are going to want to play with it, but... 
I guess maybe they feel as if uh, people might try it for like a month and then the next month switch back to the power that they were before that. Um, and they and they and they probably don't want to just focus on just one. Obviously, like Mep said, there's three rolls, which means if they do one power, so if they come out with the tank power, that also means that people are going to be you know out crying for you know where's the new controller power, where's the new healer power, you know this that and the other. So I kind of am disappointed with that, but at the same time I get where they are coming from, and I kind of agree with Mep's like. And the fact that like a new power set, don't get me wrong, would be awesome. It'd be fun to see new animations and a new uh, way of playing things. And it would add some kind of um, newness and funness, if those are even words, uh, to the game. But at the same time, I would much rather them make the game smoother. Uh, as we saw, you know, in this pre in this uh, newest episode, how there was, there, was, there was a bunch of glitches and things of that nature. So... I would much rather them spend their time and effort on fixing bugs, fixing glitches, making the game smoother, uh, working on bringing you know new, fresh content for the episodes, you know, uh, um, you know, bringing new ideas for uh, PvP, which they don't really focus on very much, uh, you know, Legends PVE, um, just you know, trying to expand the stories, expand the the overall gaming experience, and continue making the gaming experience one where we want to keep logging in and keep playing the game and never go away. So I kind of agree with that. So like I said, it's it's kind of disappointing, I know, for a lot of guys. But overall, the, the conclusion of this is that if you are expecting a new power or you want a new power and you know, you're know you not going to come back to the game unless there's a new power, then you're probably going to be waiting here a long long time of it and even if I had to guess you're probably looking at at least a year maybe even two maybe even three depending on how long DC is around so just keep that in mind so um, with that being said guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section below what do you think are you happy with the direction that the game is going um, would you like to see new power? And if so, what would it be? Um, so, yeah. I mean, that's all I got. It's, it's kind of disappointing, but I kind of agree with it as well. So, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more. And until next time, guys, we'll see you soon.